Hey Dino, today we're going to talk about one of our best selling gadgets. It's the Wireless Radio Frequent Remote Control Extender for IR. Uh, the product name on our webpage actually mentions it's a MySky infrared remote control con um, extender, but you can use it for any product. Uh, anything infrared will do, go through walls. It has a transmitter and a receiver. The transmitter goes usually in the bedroom, close to your TV in the bedroom, and all you need to do is take the standard micro USB cable, plug it in at the back, plug the other end into your wall socket, or you can even use your um, phone charger and just plug it in. But it stays like that with your TV, and then you use your remote control and point it at the transmitter in the bedroom. Pretty simple. Um, you can't hide this in a cupboard because it has to always have a line of sight with your remote control. Now we get most questions from our customers um, about the receiver and how to set that up. Pretty straightforward. Again, you just plug in the um, power socket in like this. Micro USB in there. The, the hole in the middle is for your infrared cable and we'll talk about that a bit later. And then the third thing at the back of this um, receiver is a little switch and it says 38 or 56K. Um, it's quite technical, all you need to know is that leave it at 38, which is on the left hand side, leave the switch to the left, and then it will work. Are those switches on the receiver and the transmitter? Or? No, that's a good question. No, they're only on the receiver. Okay. And actually, uh, while you're talking about it, 38K is sort of the standard for most devices, like skyboxes, TVs, Apple TVs, but it actually it is nice to have, be able to switch it to 56K. Very few devices work on 56K. Okay. So you plug in the cable, you plug in your power, plug that, obviously you plug that on into the wall, and then you have to connect this to your Skybox where normally when you use your Sky Remote and you point your Sky Remote at your Skybox, the infrared signals end up here. In the middle of the sky box, there's a big circle. To the left of that, there's a smaller circle. And that smaller circle is your infrared receiver eye of the sky box. It's quite difficult to see. Is there is there an easy way of oh, yeah, trying to locate that window? Yeah, that's, that's a good question. Um, the one, one way to locate it is on, on some sky boxes, it's not as visible. You just use a flashlight, and then you shine your flashlight under an angle, and then you can see See the blackness sort of changed to sort of something like dark reddish. Um, this one is quite visible because it's physically, it's cut out from the plastic front of the box. But those newer, smaller sky boxes, you're right, it's really hard to find them there. And you've got to sort of put a flashlight with your phone or a flashlight on the side of it. Shine it on the side and you'll see it. So it kind of becomes opaque. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good to know. Yeah. So, so on the back of this cable, there's a, a little pad with some glue, so you take the texture of it and then you tape it so that this transmitter eye is sort of partially, half, not even half, covering the eye of the skybox. Which basically means that the infrared signals from the receiver go well, nicely into the skybox, but also um, you still allow for the, the normal remotes to be able to send um, signals and commands to your Skybox. So it's a great little unit. It's, as you said, it's not just for Skyboxes. It can be used for anything that Correct. takes a yeah. infrared command. Yeah. Um, so it can be used for most amplifiers, CD players, Blu-ray players. Yeah. Um, and we can use it from any room, multiple devices. Yeah. Yeah. Um, excellent. Sounds like a great product. It is. Sounds like a really, really good product.